This dog here is nothing like anything else that I have out here as far as it comes to dogs. He has such an interesting behavior to him that really puts a lot in me to think about what it is that I see with him when I keep on playing and keep on working with him. That's the fact that he's got no interest in trying to chase anything out here. He's got no interest in trying to, to kill anything out here. He's got no interest in trying to devour anything out here. All he wants to do is protect it. He just wants to, to just be the one, be the thing that just, just makes sure that everything here is, is taken care of. Make sure that everything out here is nice and safe. Now, if you want to try to come and harm him, yeah, he's going to have it in him to have to do something to be able to defend himself, protect himself. But all he wants to do is keep everyone safe. My name is Mark Anthony Dubose Jr. and I was born July 4th, 1986. And this dog here is my, my great parent, he's Shadow. Come here, Shadow. Come here. He's such a big animal. Being a dog, he, 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 he's absolutely massive. He's absolutely interesting. He's absolutely phenomenal in what it is that he does and what it is that he really brings to me. And he's such a, a symbolism to me of what it is that I see Jesus being. He's not here to hurt anything. He's not here to destroy anything. He's not here to harm anything. He's here to protect. He's here to make sure that we're safe. He's here to make sure that we're going to be good to go. He's here to make sure that if there even is chaos, that he's going to be able to stop that chaos. He's going to be able to slow things down. He's not going to come at you with hurt. He's not going to come at you with hate. But he is going to come at you pretty stern if you don't want to listen. He's a very, very serious dog when it comes down to him protecting what it is that he needs to protect. When, he need, when he's guarding what it is that he needs to guard. When, when he's doing his work, he's in his absolute best of prime of being out here taking care of some animals. And that's where I just see Jesus as taking care of us as humans. He's out here making sure that we're good to go. He's out here making sure that we're going to be able to do what it is that we need to do. He's going to make sure that we're safe when things try to come around us to try to harm us. He's going to push them away. He's just going to, he's going to be able to provide all that to us. He's going to, be able to do something absolutely amazing for us. And when I just, I don't know what it is, but I just look at a lot of these, this stuff out here, this land, this world. I don't worship this dog. I don't worship this land. I don't, I don't praise the sun or praise the moon. I appreciate it for what it's able to do for me. I appreciate this animal for what it's able to do for me. When I keep on hearing all the time and keep on watching everyone's uh, farming shows and, and homestead channels that you keep on losing chickens, you keep on losing chicks, you keep on losing baby calves, you keep on losing goats. I don't have that issue because I have this guy. And also at the same time, I got that big guy chanting back there that's yelling. That's another day for another topic. But it's very fascinating what, it, what he's capable of doing and being able to make sure that everything is nice and safe. Because the more and more I keep on just looking at each and individual animal out here, I just get a more and more greater presence of knowing that what God and who God is all about. When I just sit and sit for a second, stop all the fast pace of things going, stop all the, the, the busy work and the rush stuff, and just sit and just look at what's here. Look at the beauty that's out here. Look at the things that we as humans have even created to be able to help us. But this animal was created from an animal that God has initially created. And at the same time, it's everything, in my opinion, is inspired. That God knew we was going to need some help with taking care of our animals and keeping things safe. God knew that we were going to need some assistance in, in being able to make sure that we were able to take care of. So he gave someone the inspiration to figure out how to be able to create this dog here. How to mix one dog to the next dog. How to be able to isolate it and train it and teach it to be able to just be what it is today. That in reality, they just, they're born knowing what it is that they should do. Where for me, I'm changing it up a little bit with the future of to come because we don't have so much as goats and sheep and, and, and all that, that I'm, I'm convincing him to hang out and protect some chickens so that hopefully one day I'd be able to recreate that for someone else that needs that. That for me, I'm inspired to continue to keep on going, to realize that times are changing, that not times are changing that now we have to, to just create something new. No, times are changing that we need to make sure that we're working with what it is that we already have to be able to grow it, to be able to make sure that it's gonna be able to work for what it is that we need it to work for. Not that times are changing, that now all of a sudden I need a whole new book, a whole new this, a whole new that. No, times are just changing that we need to keep on cruising and moving along with what it is that we know that we have and know what it is that we know that's working. And we know what it is that we already know is gonna to continue to keep on working. It's something that this animal is gonna be able to do. This animal is gonna be able to continue to keep on working for me, doing for me, and just and, and being an absolute blessing to me. And at the end of the day, when I just sit and study and just ponder and stare and just, just constantly just keep on playing with this dog, it just makes me just get an overwhelming, loving sensation of knowing who Jesus and what Jesus is all about for me. Because when I just really sit and stare at him, I watch him. The, the chicks will come up to him. 
they'll come up and, and sit on his lap. They'll sit on his back. Then when he's sleeping, he's napping, they'll all just sit on him. They're pecking at him, playing with him. He chases them around a little bit. When they chase him, they just go at it a little bit. They're just having a good time. They're having a fun time. It's never in a, in a way that he's trying to harm them, never. He's always looking at these guys like, if I hear something out there bumping in the night, I'm gonna make sure that that thing is not gonna come in here to take care of these guys. I don't know what it is, but the more and more that I just keep on working with, with my animals and doing what it is that I do with them. Hey, come, come, come here, Shadow. <laughs> doing what it is that I do with them. It's just a, a very interesting thing of how I just get super, super, super humbled, super, super passionate about what it is that God has been able to do for us and what he's been able to create for us and what it is that he's been able to, to be able to bring to us to allow us to be able to have an absolute beautiful time on this planet. Realizing that there's gonna be some hard times out here. There's some hard times for this dog. Some days he, he's gonna to have to, to deal with having to fight some things. I mean, he's already had to do that in reality to make sure that things are gonna be safe out here. There's times out here that he's gonna to have to figure out, you know what, I kinda of wanna be able to go out and be able to roam and be able to do more and be able to make more happen. And there's days that he's just like, I, I want more, I want more. And that's the same thing that us as humans are gonna to have to deal with, that we always gonna have it in us that we want more. But there comes a time in the day, especially with this specific dog, that when they're young, they're, they're, they're gonna damn say challenging because they, they wanna go and do what they think is best, not knowing that what they're doing and what they need to do is already good to go. That they think that they need more and more and more and more and more. And it's something that's super fascinating to me because that's what we as human beings also do. That we, we, we start off young, we start off just, I want, I want more, 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 more is going to be able to give me more. More is going to be able to make me happier. As opposed to just, especially something simple like this, him, the more that he just lays there and relaxes and just says, I like this, this is good to go. This is all that I need. This is more than what I need. That's when they're in their prime. That's when they live to be 15 to 18 years old because they've realized, hey, this is, this is just what I need. This is just what I care for. This is just what I have to do. I don't need to go out there and try to find more and do more and get more and have more and, and be about more. I, I just need to be happy with what it is that I have. And if I do happen to get more, cool, that's amazing. I got more, but I just need to be realize that I need to be satisfied with where I'm at. I don't know what it is, man. I'm, but I'm just saying that the more I just sit out here and just keep watching these animals, the more that I just realize there's something absolutely amazing about them that just really expresses more and more of what God is all about and what he's been able to do for us and, and what it is that we as human beings are capable of doing and what we're able to do. It's, it's just it's such an interesting thing that I, I, I just get, get an overwhelming sensation of absolute love. And it's something that I would want more and more people to just really experience that for some reason today, and I don't know why today more than any other day in our life and any other day in, 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 since we know about in reality, it's just super fascinating that being outside and watching animals and, and even Animal Planet TV show and, and all those things and Animal Kingdom and Shark Week and all that stuff. It's like a lot of that stuff is just getting skipped up on, left up on, pushed behind, pushed away, pushed off. Like, don't even pay attention to that. Don't pay attention to them trees. Don't pay attention to what that sound is out here that you constantly hear every single in one of my videos. Someone will say, oh, that's crickets. I'm going to say, y y you're already off. I watched a video of a guy the other day that that was looking at some flies and didn't know that maggots came from flies. I'm just blown, I'm just blown away. Like we are so far away from just experiencing this planet that finding and what's the real true joy out there. Those aren't no crickets up there. Those aren't, it's just a very fascinating thing that's out here that the more we get out and start looking at it, start studying it, the more that we're gonna understand more about who Jesus and what Jesus is all about. Because he puts and makes everything out here work together. He's got everything in unison so that it could be able to thrive, survive and thrive. It's got everything out here to do that. Everything is for its absolute purpose. There's nothing out here that's just there. A lot of times I was questioning and wondering, it's like, oh, why, why are there mosquitoes? Why is it this? But everything out here is for an absolute reason, for something that we need to be able to make sure that we can move forward on the next day. And that's just something that's an amazing thing when you're able to get out here and just start to experience it, start to pay attention to it. Stop, start, start paying attention to it in real life not in the virtual reality world, not in the, the watching videos about our world, but actually getting outside and looking at it, watching the ants that are going up the tree and figure out where are y'all going? Where are y'all going? Why are y'all going from all the way over here, all the way over there? Where are you going? What are you trying to do? What is your mission with that? And just start piecing stories together about what's going on. A lot of times I sit out here and I just watch these chickens do what they do. They be fighting and battling and bickering. That's the one thing about chickens that I'm gonna say is a little bit challenging, that they're just always bickering. They're just always like bah, 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 trying to fight each other, trying to say, no, that's my last piece of food. And, and, and it's something that you, you got to figure out how to be able to deal with and be able to handle. But if you're also at the same time realizing who the bosses are and getting the bosses and separating the bosses and, and giving the bosses their own land, they, they, they're, they're good to go. 
But that's something that's fascinating about just being out and just watching it and just looking at it and experience it and being around it. I'm telling you, the more that you're around the, the, the things of this world, the more that you're going to understand exactly who God is and what God's all about. Not worshiping the stuff that's out here. Not praising even the stuff that's out here. You're going to praise God. You're going to praise Jesus for the fact of being able to have this. You're going to praise Jesus for the fact of being able to be able to have this air that you still can't see. You can't taste it. You can't touch it. But yet it's there to make sure that you can keep on staying alive for another day. You're going to praise God for the, the, the abundance of water that's out here. And, and you're going to kind of get this in any feelings a little bit when you realize what we as human beings are wanting to do to the water. What us as human beings are wanting to do to the rain. What us as human beings are wanting to do to the trees. And it's going to really start to just give you a better connection with what, what true reality is out here. And what, what true freedom is out here. And what true grace is out here. And everything that is just an absolutely amazing thing for us to be able to, to, to experience out here. Being on your phone and being on your TVs and being on your computer screens, it's got its time and its place. But not all its time and its place should be in that. You, you should have way more experience of being out and just being in the land and being in the world and being in, in something to be able to let you realize what it is that's going on out here. Realizing these things that you need to survive. There's stuff out here that we cannot live if we don't have. And it's very fascinating that a lot of us don't understand the basics of all the things that are out here. That the, when you start to understand that, you start to just get more, the, the, the only word I can use with that is freedom. When you start to understand what a fly does, when you understand what a buzzard does, when you understand what a hawk does, when you understand what this dog right here does, when you understand what these chickens are out here doing, this little one is just so darn cute. You gonna come here? Come, come here. No, she's not gonna let me catch her. When you start to realize what everything out here does, you're gonna to start to get a, a, a true definition of what freedom is all about. Not freedom in a sense that you, you, you need to be able to go here and go there and do this and do that whenever you wanna be able to do it. That's not freedom. Freedom is right here inside of who you are and what you're thinking about and what you're able and what you're capable of doing. A lot of times we don't know what anything is. Most, most people today, I, I, I could just almost say, I could put a guarantee on this, that majority, I would say the 80% out of the 20% of the majority of people under the age of 20 years old don't even realize that this chicken is, is the food that you're eating at Chick-fil-A. Probably don't even realize that. Probably don't even realize that this chicken here, they lay the eggs that you're eating in, in, the, in the grocery stores that you're getting. Probably don't even realize that. I, I would say that the majority don't even know that, don't even recognize that. And that, that just proves to me more of how further and further disconnected we're getting with the understanding of knowing what it is out here to be able to survive, be able to take care of ourselves. I, I bet that majority of people don't have a good understanding of, of what well water is and how water gets filtered and how water gets cleaned for us to be able to reuse and be able to use it again. I bet most people have no idea of what, what, what the clouds are doing and why, why we're even getting rain. What, what are they doing? Why, how is the moisture getting into it? How is it getting to the point that it's getting to the point that it's dropping? We, we buzz through it in school, but we don't actually go out and actually study it and actually pay attention to it and actually just get a real good understanding of knowing exactly what is truly happening. And this stuff we need to survive. This stuff we absolutely need. Someone out there would say, oh, you don't need to eat meat to survive. Then why aren't you out there paying attention to how to be able to grow some veggies? Because I'm going to say that, that that to me, and not even to me, but to a whole lot of people that I watch and I see, that's even more complicated. Trying to grow fruits and vegetables than trying to grow some animals out. That's even more complicated to have to be able to do. That's way more work. That's way more involvement. That's way more everything that's going to... Oh, we got a little dirty. You'll be all right with it. It's way more involved to be able to do than, than to be able to eat some meat. So something that I just have it in me is like I, I know we weren't founded and funded off of that. We, we created the abundance of the veggies and the abundance of the fruits for us to be able to have today. But that's not what, what we're founded from. Because just, just the matter, matter of absolute hard, back-breaking work it takes to be able to do such a thing. So it, it's, 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 it's interesting that we got people out here that are talking about the concept of braising what you eat. But, but not at the same time of making sure that we actually even know what it is that we're eating, knowing what it is that it takes to be able to eat, knowing what it is that it takes to be able to breathe, what it is it takes to be able to drink this water, what it is to be able to take to be able to get the water from wherever it is to the inside of your home so that you can use it, what it is to be able to use all those functions to be able to get to that to be able to use. I don't know, the more and more that I just really start to understand a lot of this stuff, the more and more I start to get closer to understand exactly who, who God and what God is all about in this creation that he's built here for us to be able to use and be able to utilize. The, the, the number one way that I've really been able to just have, have it in me to know that God is real is to come out here and be and doing what it, is, what it is that I'm doing. Just sitting here and seeing the, these chickens out here and doing what they're doing, knowing where this came from. Y'all don't know where this came from. Y'all don't know how this started. Y'all don't know anything about anything that's going on with this. But I've been here day one, seeing everything going on, watching all these chickens get laid as eggs, 
and I put these into a machine and I watch all these chickens come from baby chicks, these little babies, little fur balls, all the way to what it is that I see here today. All the way to the point that majority of them are soon gonna be laying eggs again for me, being able to start that cycle all over again. It's such an interesting thing to be able to see and to be able to experience that just really lets me know exactly what God is all about. That he created this for us to be able to have the freedom, the joy, the passions, the peace, the glory, to be able to have some excitement out here doing what it is that we're doing. That a lot of people just get excited over, over TV shows or video games. And I'm telling you, that's not true excitement. You, you get to the point that that's just like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Like today, I had an, extre <laughs> I had an extreme level of excitement. Excitement, that kind of gets irritating, but exciting. And that's what, in majority, most video games and TV shows are really going to bring you anyways. They're going to bring you a little bit of irritation, and that's the, the beauty behind it, to be able to, to, to have that, say, true success that you're looking for. But today, I don't know what it is that I had about 50 of them that decided to just jump out and just run around and start running free, that I had to figure out how to get all these guys back in here again. Not that they can't just jump out, because I just watched one clearly just easily jump out of here, but it's a matter of me training and teaching them what it is that I want. Y'all staying in here. Y'all ain't going anywhere. But I had about 50 of them running, running all free and running out. I come out here and just look at them like, man, this is going to be a very interesting, exciting time to figure out what it is that I need to do. That's the, the level of what it is that I'm going to say that God's creation is going to be to bring to you. A level of excitement that's going to keep you moving, keep you cruising, keep you on your toes, keep you engaged, keep you, keep you always focused on how to be able to build better and build next and be able to do more and be able to have more. And not, not that you need more, but how to be able to do the more when the more starts to come to you. That's something that I, I, I don't know how to explain it other than just having you come here and, and watch this and be around this and just seeing it for, for firsthand for your, for your own self. That a lot of times we, we get stuck in thinking that we, we, we know it because we saw it on this TV screen. You don't know it until you're here. You don't know it until you really experience it. You don't know it until you pick your first one up. You can pick your first little baby chick up. Where's the little baby one at? You're not a baby. You're big. These little things are strong. They are powerful. They are fast. They, 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 they are an absolutely amazing thing. And you don't understand that by just watching the video. You gotta pick it up. You gotta chase one. Like this big dude, I don't know if you can see that big dude. He's coming through, he'll be on camera soon. That big dude, he powerful. You don't wanna mess with that. You're not just gonna go up and just grab it and pick it up and just hold it. No, he's got an extreme amount of force behind him. These little ones have a whole lot of force about, about, uh, uh, behind them that is, it's, just, it's so unreal on, on considering the size that they are and how powerful that they are. It's just being able to experience that, feel that, touch that, be a part of that is what I just have a good understanding of knowing what God and who Jesus is. And especially just seeing just these different animals and what they do and how they do and how they function. It just really lets me know exactly what Jesus is all about. Especially just seeing this dude here just, just sit back down. A shadow man just, just, just hanging out. He just hangs out. He just keeps everything safe. He keeps everything protected. He keeps everything good to go. And that's how Jesus is for me. And I just want to say thank you for a very interesting week, for a very interesting time. And, and I don't know what it is, but this week and this week specific that I've just started to notice a, a huge change in what's going on out here with what it is that I've been doing. That I've been seeing them as real small little babies, but for some reason this week I'm just noticing an extreme amount of growth that's been going on that is just super fascinating to me. It's fascinating to me in a way that just really lets me know that sometimes when you, when you, when you want it right now, you, you, you get, right now is not when you want it. You, you, you want it to slow and steady. And getting stuff done slow and steady and continue to keep working slow and steady and watching to keep on growing that's the way to be able to get what it is that we get out here because there's pretty much i don't i don't know if i can say nothing on this but there's pretty much nothing that you just plant that seed and it just happens instantly no you got to plant that seed you got to do some stuff and some things it takes 30 years underground of work to do before it even comes up to be able to do anything but when it does come up it looks like it's been it, it grows in 30 feet in, in not even a couple of months but it's done 30 years in the ground and that's what majority of the stuff out here is. And if the majority of stuff out here that God has created is like that, why wouldn't it be that things that we're working on ourselves and things that we're desiring are going to be that same way? And I'm thankful to be able to understand that, knowing that I used to be in a rampage. I used to be frustrated. I used to be mad. I used to be irritated because I just want it now. I want to figure it out now. I want to be able to get to that next stage now. I want to be able to make things happen right now. And I'm thankful to be able to realize with just by studying outside, being outside, watching these things out here, of seeing just how, how it takes time. And the time is what really makes it beautiful. It makes it so nice because if it would have rushed out, it, it, who knows what it would look like. But it's the time that, that made it be so amazing. It's the time that made it know that, that it is for real, that it is going to work, that it is going to be great. It's the time that builds up its courage, that builds up its, its awesomeness, that builds up its greatness. If you just get it instantly, if it just comes out instant, it's just, it, 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 it's not, I, don't, I just don't see anything. <laughs> Dude, y'all here fighting now. 
<laughs> and they're chasing each other. That's just what chickens do. They, they're very, very interesting, very interesting birds. But uh, this is something to deal with that I'm gonna get another dog to figure out how to be able to fix that. <laughs> to get that to stop, get that to slow down. But I'm just so thankful to be out here to be able to see this and witness this and be able to understand this, that it's just, it, it, it's a beautiful thing to see. That I'm glad it's taken the time that it's taken for it to be able to get to the size and get to the ways that it is. Because if it would just came overnight, I, I would have I would have been overwhelmed. I, I wouldn't know what to do. When I had 50 chicks out, what, what would anybody do in a situation like that? Where I know what to do, because I've had the time of realizing how to be able to train and get my dog to do what it is that I need him to do. That he can get it, hold it, I can pick it up, and I can throw it back in. And it's taken time to be able to build that up and time to be able to realize how to be able to get what it is that I need. It's just, it, it's a phenomenal thing of realizing that there's no instant stuff. In the world today is trying to give us this instant stuff that's really not gonna give you what it is that you need. It's a time behind and the patience behind and the willingness behind and putting in those little bits of action each day behind that's gonna get you where you wanna get. This is just such an amazing world, people, that I never ever thought in my life that I'd be out here doing what it is that I'm doing and seeing and being able to experience what it is that I'm experiencing. I never grew up as a kid imagining that I'd be out here figuring out how to be able to breed my own chickens, how to be able to uh, start to select and start choosing what it is I want, what it is I don't want, and starting to be able to just see a very interesting phenomenon out here that all of these came from six girls and the six girls all look super similar, but every single one of these guys out here has a difference of a look to them. That's just something to me that I just realized of what we are as human beings. That we, we are all the same way. Everything out here has a difference. There's, there's none that, that's just identical the same. There's some, some that are similar, but they're just all so, so sporadic. And so, so, so you, you would think that I had a whole different, they're all the same, they're just different colors. And that's a fascinating thing of just saying that, of realizing of what we are as human beings as well. We all the same, we just different colors. But we're all from the same stock. We're all from God. We're all from Jesus. We're all from the Spirit. We're all from that. But we all have just different colors and we all have different attitudes. We all have different ways of being. We all have different stuff that we like. Some of them like breaking out and being out all day long, come in at night, and others like to just stay inside the coop all day. We, we, we are all, all, all from the same source, but we all have our own ownness that, that, we, that we're all about. We have our own uniqueness, and it's something that is super amazing that in reality, I never really recognized that by going to the elementary school I went to and the middle school and the high school and, and the basic colleges I've gone to and all the trade schools I've gone to and the military that I was in. Everyone was just like always kind of forced to look the same, be the same, speak the same, act the same, do the same. And once I came out here and started seeing this, I started to see the uniqueness that's out in this world, the uniqueness that, that is all around us, the uniqueness that is just everywhere, that it is all so, so different. And it's not that anything is better than itself and than anything else, they're all the same. They're all equal, but they all act a little bit differently. And that's something that is just super fascinating that being out here, being able to do this with, with, with these animals has been able to really bring something great to me. And I, and I would hope that, like, like see, he, he gonna make sure that things stay out of here. He's serious, that's a serious bark. And it's such a soothing thing to be able to hear at night when I go to sleep and I hear that bark bark, because I know things are safe out here. And, and that's, that's, Chatham, you, you such a good boy. And, and you're just such an amazing boy. You're such a fascinating boy. And this dog right here just lets me know exactly what Jesus is for me. That when I'm in danger, he's gonna step up to make sure I'm good to go. When I'm a little scared and a little nervous, he's gonna step up to make sure I'm good to go. But he's not here to try to chase me to hurt me. He's not here to try to try to damage me. He's not here to try to force me out. He's not here to try to force me to in reality do anything. He's just here to protect me. Thank you.